taping uh, today's event. It'll be recorded. Uh, and the link will come out uh, later this week. Uh, our president, David McCormick, will send out the link. Um, so we just want, wanted to let you know it will be recorded and feel free to share the link with friends and anyone whom you feel would uh, enjoy seeing this. Uh, and uh, without further ado, it is uh, my pleasure to welcome uh, David McCormick, our president of the Educational Dramatic Club Slovenia, uh, who will give his welcome. Uh, welcome to the stage, David. Take it away, please. Thank you, John. Um, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to the 2020 Virtual Grape Festival hosted by Club Slovenia. This year we celebrate the club's 96th annual Grape Festival and the first to be held in this virtual format. I hope everyone is healthy and safe and ready to sit back and enjoy the musical program that will be presented. As you know, only a couple of months ago, Club Slovenia announced the cancellation of all club events, activities, and meetings through the end of this calendar year due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the resulting restrictions on group gatherings. However, soon after the club's announcement, John Hutar proposed the idea of showcasing some of our talented musicians and singers, having them pre perform popular Slovenian folk songs and making the program available to club members and friends by way of Zoom conferencing. Thus was born today's virtual grape festival. I would like to thank John and his wonderful and talented team for making this event possible. So now sit back, pour yourself a glass of wine and welcome John Hutar, who will introduce our guest performers. Well, thank you so much, David, for your kind words, and thank you for your leadership with Club Slovenia. Uh, we are hosting this virtual event uh, on the day that the in-person performance, uh, at the in-person event would have happened, and around the time uh, after lunch when, when music would have started. Uh, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce our participants today, and if you would all, uh, uh, please uh, turn on your, your video so we can see you. Uh, Joja Antolin, our program co-host, who will be sharing his beautiful voice, his guitar skills, uh, and a little connection with Joja. His aunt in Cleveland was my Saturday Slovenian school teacher. So we, we have a link uh, going back quite a bit. Uh, Mia Rodea our community's beloved Slovenian language expert and cultural advisor. Uh, she is so patient with us, helps guide us along the way. Hello, Mia, give us a wave. And uh, of course, Mia's late husband, Francais, uh, was a pioneer in technology in Silicon Valley and to this day uh, holds valuable, relevant uh, technologies that he developed. Uh, his uh, good friend, Zvonko Fazrins, uh, also a trailblazer, and that technology uh, uh, torch, uh, if you will, has been uh, carried now by uh, Jura Leskovic, uh, part of uh, American Slovenian Educational Foundation. And it's for that reason that uh, we felt we had to continue this, uh, uh, using the technology that France and Zvonko and Jura worked so hard uh, to perpetuate. Um, so where there is music, there is often a church, and uh, Diana Fear Grimet, uh, very active uh, in the Slovenian choir at the Church of the Nativity, uh, a professionally trained opera singer, uh, recorded Slovenian folk songs. Uh, another connection with her, we will see her father, uh, Joe Joja, uh, later in the program, and uh, her dad and my mom from the same village, Sudivar, go figure. And uh, if he is on the call watching, I just want to give a shout out to Joe Govednik, uh, long time, uh, uh, j just in the roots of uh, San Francisco culture. Uh, and Joe was always at my side during my years as uh, honorary consul for Slovenia. So thank you, Joe, and, and welcome. Um, 
I talk about the church and the singing, uh, and uh, Alyosha Ravnik uh, w w is here today and part of the Ravnik nation, uh, a strong family, uh, the core roots of our Slovenian uh, society here in the San Francisco Bay Area. We are indebted to all that the Ravniks have done over the years, and thank you, Alyosha, for sharing your voice with us. Uh, we have viewers uh, on the East Coast we want to say hello to, and we will have a guest performer, uh, a former San Franciscan, Igor Mikulic, uh, will be joining us via video. We appreciate uh, Igor taking the time to be with us today. Uh, Igor, of, of course, for years uh, graced us with his musical talent, a professional musician in his own right. Uh, in Slovenia and, and for, for a while here in the Bay Area. Um, we, we have, uh, uh, they say the fruit doesn't fall far from the tree and uh, Fred Blocker uh, from Fontana originally, now Southern California, uh, his father, um, uh, Joe Blocker was a mainstay in American Slovenian polka music and when I was a teenager, the Mlakar band came to Cleveland to perform, and we were just blown away with this sound. Uh, and it's fun that uh, 30, 40, uh, going on close to 50 years later, uh, we're connected here. Uh, uh, Fred, no stranger to the Slovenian Hall in San Francisco, way before GPS uh, was, was equipped, uh, cars were equipped with his his car could figure its way out by itself to the Slovenian Hall for sure, performed there many times. And closely linked to them, uh, now uh, Lisa lives in Northern California. Uh, Lisa Vidergar Lucas, beautiful voice, uh, accomplished vocalist, uh, talented button accordion player. And uh, her father, um, Frank, <clears throat> Senior uh, was uh, a force in, in uh, Slovenian music. And I still remember the first time I played with Frank Senior, that emotion that he carried in his uh, music, uh, luckily transferred to his children. Uh, we have Lisa performing with us today and from Colorado, uh, her brother, uh, Frank Wiedergar. Um, Today marks uh, 195 days uh, since the shelter in place order went into effect in, uh, on March 17th. And every day since that day, Blair and Steve have been performing on Facebook uh, one song a day, uh, and they're still working through their repertoire. Uh, they're gonna do a fun piece for us um, that, that sort of melds the, uh, a traditional Slovenian song and uh, in the Cajun style. And then behind the scenes, uh, give a shout out to Juan Camaro. Uh, he's running the Zoom show for us, uh, the Convention Bureau's uh, manager of media and public relations. Thank you, Juan, uh, for, for running the show for us. Uh, so <coughs> with further ado, uh, I'd like to welcome Diana to uh, take uh, the first song. And uh, as is the tradition at the Slovenian Hall, if we were gathering live, uh, we would start with the American National Anthem. Uh, Diana, welcome, and the floor is yours. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red Oh, say, does that star 
star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you so much, Diana. That was beautiful. Uh, next, I'd like to welcome to the microphone Alyosha Ravnik, who will sing the national anthem of the Republic of Slovenia. The cover songs of hope, the people is without pregnant. The rock less false may And now we would like to invite uh, Mia Rodea to uh, give us a little bit of background on the beautiful song uh, Alyosha just sang for us. Thank you, Alyosha. And uh, Mia, we'll uh, just unmute your microphone and uh, please take it away. Thank you, Alyosha. Thank you for the pleasure of hearing you sing the Slovenian national song or Slovenian national anthem, believed to be the only national anthem in the world that expresses a vision of brotherhood of all men and all nations. To honor its language, may I continue speaking in Slovene. Slovenska hymna je prav za prav sedma kitica pesmi zdravlica, Franceta Prešerna. Zdravlica je na govor o miziju prijateljev, ki so zbrani za to, ker mislijo dobro. Nekako podobno, kot smo mi zbrani danes, ker nas veže ljubezen do slovenskih korenin. Pozdravljeni in dobrodošli ob naši virtualni mizi danes. Prva kitica zdravlice pa je posvečena vinski trti in vinu. Kot je preširan napisal, spet trte so rodile prijatelji, vin se nam sladko. Sedaj pa prosim, prisluhnite Jožetu, ki bo bral, ki je v Sloveniji gojijo vinsko trto, ter o nekaj drugih zanimivosti v zvezi z vinogradi in trgatvijo. Jože, prosim, nadaljuj. Ja, hvala mi, Mija. So we're waiting for the uh, presentation of the PowerPoint. Here we go. If you would advance that, please. Toast to variety. Nezdravia. No matter what kind of wine you prefer, you would no doubt find your favorite type among the offerings of these three large wine-growing regions of Slovenia. Primorje, meaning next to the sea. Vosavje, named after the Sava River. And Budravje, named after the River Drava. The select wines of these regions with over 10 separate wine-growing districts are ranked among the best in the world with regard to quality, with no fewer than 52 vine varieties grown there. 
While Slovenia may be relatively undiscovered compared to mainstream wine regions of Italy, France, and Spain, its rich viticulture heritage stretches back thousands of years, centuries before Romans arrived to the Slovenian territory. Illyrian tribes cultivated vines and crafted wines here. One of the best places to go for the wine harvest is Maribor. There you'll witness the ceremonial harvesting of the old wine, the Stara Tarta. The vine recorded in the Guinness Book of World Records as the oldest still producing grape vine in the world. In the heart of Slovenia grows the oldest vine in the world. It was planted towards the end of the Middle Ages and survived fires and wars and the vine lice that destroyed most of the other vines in the country. Its confirmed age today is about 450 years. It bears grapes of the variety Jametlovka which is one of the first domestic noble vine sorts in Slovenia. The old vine, Stara Tarta, is protected as a national natural monument and listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the oldest noble vine in the world, still bearing grapes. The yearly harvest of between 75 and 120 pounds of grapes is made into wine and poured into one cup bottles. Only a hundred are filled every year and given to dignitaries and important visitors as a special gift. Queen Elizabeth II, Pope John Paul, and the former US President Bill Clinton were among the recipients of this in uh, <clears throat> indigenous wine. To honor the oldest vine in the world, the city of Maribor organizes the Old Vine Festival that attracts visitors from far and near. The festival ends with a formal cutting of the grape. In 2016, William Carson, co-owner of the Drava Vineyards in Lodi, California, had the honor to cut the first grape. And the reason he was invited to do so, I'm going to go off script here, is that William spent uh, seven years in Slovenia as a English language teacher. And on his off days spent exploring the region and learning the language. And as a wine grower and vintner, he was invited back to Maribor to participate in that celebration. The most romantic road. The heart-shaped road among the vineyards on the sloped hills of Svichnik has a, in recent years become one of the most known attractions of Slovenia and one of the favorite spots for getting married. It attracts tourists from around the world. It received a great deal of attention when the French used it its picture to advertise their vineyards. The settlement of Spichnik is located in the northeastern part of Slovenia, the Slovansk Gorice, close to the Slovenian border with Austria, about 12 miles northwest of Maribor. The road was created about 40 years ago and got its heart shaped as the current owner of the vineyard once stated, more or less by chance to make it less steep and easy to drive on. And there's a beautiful view of the romantic road at night, an iconic image. Thank you, Yoja, for that. Tremendous uh, presentation. Thank you, uh, Mia, for uh, curating uh, that material for us. And uh, I neglected to point out, I apologize that the uh, 
songs that we're singing today were sent out in a PDF file by David. So we uh, urge you to, to sing along with us. Uh, unfortunately, we won't be able to hear you, but your spirit uh, gives us encouragement. Uh, we know your voices are there. And uh, Alyosha is going to sing a uh, wonderful song called Kurkaplitz Tolkolet uh, that, that is always sung uh, when, when there's a birthday celebration. It, it loosely translates, may you have as many years as there are drops of wine. So, Nazdravia and uh, Alyosha Prosim. Bok nam daina svet živet, živi oj, živi go, živi o na svet. Najbo sara alba mlada, vsaka ima fantarada, živi oj, Živio Alyosha, hvala lepa, na zdravje. Na zdravje. And uh, Joža, we hear your voice, now we see your video, and you're going to sing a lovely song about friends, Zapriatelia. Thank you, Joža. Thank you, John, but before I sing, I'd like to share out Zapriatelia. This is my little grape festival here at home. So if anyone thinks they want to travel and share this little meal, I have a, a Krajinske style klobase from Cleveland, from Ajmans in Cleveland. I, I made an almost traditional potato salad, almost traditional cucumber salad, and a small tomato salad with buchno oil, pumpkin seed oil from Slovenia. So this is for for our friends. Zapriatelia. And let me turn back this way. <laughs> Se poveseli in taj znak potrpe, najgnimo vrstlastju kot prej nikolšje. Staj za prijatelje, je dobro le najboljše. Pred en v noč se zli je dan, Red in želenje nam obrne drugo stran. Povejmo vsi, če grad buči, stisnimo si roko, znamo si glasno, da za prijatelje je treba čas vzeti. Se povesi, in da je znak potrpe, daj glimo vrstnostju, kot prej nikoli še, saj za prijatelje je dobro le najboljše. Sreča ne moreš imeti sam, moreš jo znati, Vestiti z rukam, dvar korak, v tam, kjer smo doma, naj sliši se v svet, biti našega srca, da za prijatelje, da je zbog. 
Se povesi, in daj znak kupe, daj gnimo vrčlo skup, od peni kolše, saj za prijatelje je dobro, lej najboljše. And so with our friends, to all our friends, you have to take time. You have to have a lot of fun and you also need to be patient. And that's the main, main verse of it. And speaking of friends, I'd like to now introduce my, my friend from Slovenia who is, has performed several times at the Slovenian Hall and we invited him to do so again. Igor Mikolic. En lep topel pozdrav vam pošiljam, dragi prijatelji, v Kalifornijo, v San Francisco, iz naše Slovenije, bolj točno iz naše slovenske Istre. Moj, moj bratec Jože me je prosil, če bi lahko zapel eno pesem za vas in seveda sem se z veseljem odzval. Žal mi je, da nas situacija omejuje in ne morem uživo zapet, bom pa tako preko video slike poslal to pesmico od naših faraonov, ki pravi, tu je moj dom, tu sem doma. Yes. 
sărsat Tu e moi dom, tu sunt doma Tu e de mene, de moi e ga sărsat Tu sunt doma Sem doma lep pozdravček v Kalifornijo iz Slovenije in upam, res upam srčno, da se čim prej vidimo uživo, ker moram reči, da vas pogrešam kar precej. Čau, čau. Hvala lepa, Igor, in veseli smo, da se se z nami pridružil in vse najboljše o tebi želimo. Thank you, Igor, for joining us from Slovenia. That was a lovely song, and uh, we miss you too, and, and hope we can see each other all in person sometime soon. That was just fantastic. I think it, it deserves a huge round of applause. John, wow. if I may jump in here. So the basic, the basic, the basic meaning of that is the, the, the chorus is Tusem Dom, Tusem Doma means this is my home. This is where I am at home for our audience. And home is where we are, collected together. Thank you, Yoja. And uh, it is my pleasure now to introduce Fred Mlockar. We'll get your video on, Fred. Um, well, we introduced uh, Fred okay. earlier. Um, I, I mentioned uh, the the powerhouse of Slovene music in Southern California with the Mwakar family. Uh, Fred is also in the Rolodex of Hollywood producers when they need to film a TV scene or movie scene with a Bavarian house and Oktoberfest. Uh, a polka band, uh, Fred is the one they call. So uh, here and there we see him on TV, just uh, clicking channels. So Fred, thank you for being with us. And uh, I'll just remind everyone that the song sheets were sent out. Uh, the songs that Fred is gonna play are mainstay Slovenian songs. Uh, you'll know them all by melody and uh, please join in the verse. Fred. Thank you and welcome to everybody from Southern California. Bistrum potrku je mlu, a ja sam pa mlinar je vse. Kolim se krov poče i vešnja, od sve do sve igra, igra čelim če.
SMPJ Dance yeah. you on the bandstand. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Well, we, I achieved my objective then. Thank you. Well, that was that was wonderful. And um, we uh, look forward to seeing your live performances uh, again, hopefully again soon, Fred. Um, and uh, always nice when you join us here at the Slovenian Hall in San Francisco. Thank you so much. Uh, I'd now like to introduce uh, Lisa Videgar Lucas. And uh, Lisa, uh, we had a, a fun night. And gosh, it must have been seven, eight years ago. Your brother Frank was visiting. We were at your mother's home, uh, Mary Lou's home. Wonderful dinner. I think between the three of us, we must have had 20 instruments out. And uh, we knocked off close to midnight. We could have gone longer, but we didn't want uh, mom evicted from her neighborhood. Uh, but that was great fun. And uh, I certainly hope we can do that soon. Uh, Lisa, just hit your uh, unmute, uh, if you would. And uh, I'll talk about your song. 
Uh, Alyosha sang uh, the Slovene national anthem, uh, which is uh, the most popular song, and then Kolkor Koplitz. Uh, Lisa is going to sing Vdolini Tihi, which is probably the number two uh, most popular song in Slovenia. Uh, it's, it's a folk song, was made popular by the Loise Slok Ensemble in the 70s. One of the rare occasions when they use the female vocalist on their recordings. And uh, it's a song about a house uh, in the valley, and there's a man according, uh, and it is just a, a beautiful song. Uh, it will be sung by Lisa's beautiful voice. It gives me chills every time I see it, and uh, every time I hear it. Uh, and then Lisa's going to follow up uh, and show us. Uh, uh, her wonderful button box styling. So welcome, Lisa. Thank you, John. It's great to be with all of you today. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you so much, Lisa. That was lovely. And uh, that accordion of yours, uh, it sounds beautiful. And with your magic touch, uh, it is awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. And uh, look forward to uh, uh, Yoja, you and I being able to perform. Uh, uh, funny story, Lisa booked us uh, a birthday party in the Mission District a couple years ago. And of course, there's no parking on San Francisco streets, and we're traipsing around, uh, dragging our button accordions and guitars uh, down the streets of the mission. So uh, look forward to those days coming back. Uh, I do want to give a shout out to one guest who is uh, viewing with us today, Moni Kovacic, uh, a big name in Slovenian popular music, uh, many um, big selling recordings in Slovenia. So let's give Moni a big round of applause. And uh, Moni, we look forward to seeing you soon and um, uh, having uh, you perform with us and uh, join us at the Slovenian Hall. Thank you for being here today. So now I'd like to invite up Blair and Steve, and they're gonna change things up a little bit. Um, as I mentioned, they have been performing uh, daily for 195 days now from their Berkeley home uh, since shelter uh, order started. Uh, Blair is a student of uh, Mia's at the Slovenian uh, language class where I met her when my wife and son were in, uh, in school. Uh, Blair and Steve play uh, Cajun music and we're gonna have a little fun here uh, with a Slovenian song. And uh, Blair, I'll let you explain what uh, what you've got cooked up here. Oh, well, thank you, John. Yeah, you might be wondering, what does coffee have to do with a wine festival? We, we ourselves are drinking wine, not coffee. Um, but um, we are, um, we do, we do have a Cajun band. That's the music of the French speaking communities in Louisiana, both black and white people. And that's actually what led me back to my Slovenian heritage without discovering Cajun music and this wonderful accordion that I play now. I'd still just be making pizza once a year and that would be it. But um, John's right that we started playing every day with shelter in place. But the important thing about that that we need to mention is what inspired me to do that was the day we were going into shelter in place. I didn't know how we were gonna cope with this. And then I saw this wonderful video from a, a small village in Slovenia where people were playing, even though the streets were deserted, there was a lone accordionist on the street and uh, a man standing on his steps playing guitar, a woman leaning out of her, uh, her balcony playing a tambourine, somebody else was playing a fiddle. And I thought, if they can do that in Slovenia, we can do it in our little village of Berkeley. So we have been doing it every day. Um, the, uh, the, I wanted for a while to see if I could play Slovenian tunes on my uh, we call it a Cajun accordion. It's a single row button accordion or a melodeon. Everybody's played a harmonica, right? Well, you know, it's a really simple, limited 
kind of instrument. It's like having just the white keys on the piano. So I've been looking and it was really hard to find anything we could play. And John had been after us for a while to figure something out. And now this came up. So I finally found what I knew was a wonderful song because I could play it on this instrument. And I didn't know until I started looking at the words how really wonderful it was because it's all about, it's moya mati kucha cafe, mom's making coffee except big problem, there's no coffee. <laughs> so she's using chicory, she's using other grains, they're roasting grains in the house and the whole house stinks and the old folks say, ah, oh, it's miserable, it's miserable, hard times, right? But it's also kind of nice. So I think there's a nice little moral in it. Um, so, uh, and the other, the other great thing about it is chicory coffee is very much associated with Louisiana. That's, uh, if you've been to New Orleans, you've probably gone to Cafe du Monde. Steve's wearing a t-shirt from our very first trip to Louisiana. He's also wearing a Ljubljana dragon cap from our very first trip to, Louis, uh, to, to Slovenia. So yeah, th this is all we have for costumes. We don't have traditional costumes. I do have a Piran t-shirt that I'm wearing from our second trip to Louisiana. I mean, to Slovenia, I get them confused. Anyway, so. Let's play, uh, you've got all the words there. It's very long. I'm just going to sing the two short first verses, no, the first and the last in Slovene, and then I'll sing um, one that I wrote in Louisiana French. So okay. bear with us. We'll see how this goes. Okay, Moya Mati Kuha Cafe. Cage of Music is dance music, by the way. I don't know if you can poke it to it. I guess you can. We do two steps. Okay, Moya <laughs> Mati. <laughs> And uh, we hope that that next year we'll all be together for real, face to face. So be well, everyone. Thank you. Wow! Thank you so much, Blair and Steve. What a wonderful uh, interpretation! Thank you. And uh, nice to uh, to to tie that in. And thank you for the uh, uh, enthusiasm and guiding light you've given on on Facebook performing for us every day. Uh, uh, so much appreciated. Um, so uh, Blair brought up a good point, dancing is allowed, and uh, we encourage you to sing along, dance along, um, and uh, we're going to bring back David McCormick now, president of the Educational Dramatic Club Slovenia, that uh, is, he's going to give us a little bit of a history of what has gone on these past uh, 95 years before, uh, before COVID. And uh, we've, uh, David has found some lovely photos. So uh, the floor is yours, David. Thank you. Thank, thank you, John. Um, as previously stated, this year we celebrate the club's 96th annual Great Festival. Although, although the event has changed over the years, it has always maintained the rich traditions of the Bay Area Slovenian community, featuring good food and wine, rousing music and songs to sing and dance to, and a time and a space to reacquaint with friends and family. As far as we know, the first Slovenian festival hosted by Educational and Dramatic Club Slovenia was held on October 21st, 1923 at the Eagles Auditorium on 275 Golden Gate Avenue and featured the play, The Prodigal Son, performed by members of the club. 
1926, the annual Grape Picking Festival Ball and Entertainment was held for the benefit of the Slovenian home and served a delicious old country style dinner for 50 cents a plate. For dessert, homemade ice cream with whipped cream was served at only 15 cents per dish. In 1929, the seventh anniversary ball and grape picking festival featured a three part program of musical performances, followed by an evening program with a grape picking contest, a marriage and divorce contest, a grand march, then dancing until midnight. In 1933, the 11th anniversary ball and grape picking festival was held for the first time in the newly remodeled Slovenian progressive home at 2101 Mariposa Street in San Francisco. Ms. Christina Troya performed banjo solo, followed by a performance of classical dancing and song by Ms. Josephine Vidmar. And the night ended with dancing until midnight to the music of the Martin Yudnich Orchestra. Throughout the 1920s and 1930s, proceeds from the festival benefited the Slovenian home and the Slovenian library. During the war years of the 1940s, Yugoslav, Yugoslav War Relief was the beneficiary of the Great Festival. And in 1945, the Great Festival benefited our returning veterans. The 1940s showcased the talents of soprano Anna Jonic Fabian and began the long running appearance of the Betty May dancers and her Kitty's Review. Children and songs and folk dances highlighted the 1951 Slovenian Great Festival and Ball. And in 1961, the event first became known as the Slovenian Great Festival and continues as such to this day, some 60 years later. Now, as we approach the 100th anniversary, we look forward to continuing the tradition that past generations have passed down to us. And we hope to do the same for future generations. Thank you, John. Thank you, David, for that uh, historical perspective and uh, the photos there, uh, obviously from uh, more modern times, uh, but that hall uh, uh, has a lot of history. And I remember being here on a, a business trip uh, in the early 80s. Uh, I was in my uh, early 20s, so you guys can do the math and figure out how old I am. Uh, and it was New Year's Eve, and uh, there was a big party going on at the at the hall, and, and I still remember that. And uh, uh, well, anyway, I made it back to my hotel and eventually got home to Cleveland. I was living in Cleveland at the time, but uh, a very important uh, anchor in our Slovenian community. Um, and uh, I'll tell you, I, so many people would uh, send me an email. Hey, I was in San Francisco and I saw the Slovenian Hall. Uh, have you ever been there? And it's like, yeah, yeah quite a few times. <laughs> well, David, I think we're going to bring back, uh, cheers, cheers, everyone, raise your glass. And a good uh, time to bring back our friend Joja, who's going to sing a song for us, Dalec Ya Dalec. That's a wonderful history of the Slovenian community here in the, the San Francisco and Bay Area. Uh, on my previous song, uh, Zapriatria, that, the author of that is Andre Schieffer. And uh, if you had to describe Andre Schieffer in terms of American music, probably the best you could do, maybe equivalent to the Kenny Rogers or John Denver. The song I'm going to do now is Dalec je moj rojstni kraj, which is by a uh, Prekmurski musician from the area, from the, literally the village next to where my father um, grew up, Beltensi. And he is uh, oftentimes described as the Bob Dylan of Slovenian music. So this is far away is my birth home is the best translation for this <laughs> Moj zčetek 
that if I may just it's a it's the basic song is someone who is looking at a photograph of a of his family from Slovenia and he mentions how he sees the, the mother and it brings back memories of the home and is wondering who the the man seated beside her and the child sitting on her lap might be and uh, it's, uh, it's a, a, a partial lament of uh, the homeland far away for many people. Well, thank you, Joja. And uh, of course, Vlado Krislin, the uh, author of that song, uh, did open for Bob Dylan uh, on uh, tours of and visits to Slovenia. So, um, He's perceived as the uh, Dylan of Slovenia and uh, opened uh, for our American Bob Dylan. Well, what do you think, Yoja? Should we uh, uh, bring Diana back for uh, uh, another song of hers? It would, I would love to hear Diana again. And uh, Diana, tell us, uh, tell us about your song. It's uh, quite special to you. Yeah, thank you, John and Yoja. This piece is entitled Kaime Bila Vida Sela, and this was composed by Mr. Hladnik. Uh, I unfortunately don't have the day as to when he composed this piece in Slovenia, but the translation is, why not be happy? Especially during these times, allow the music to make you happy. So here we go. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> 
Diana, fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. And um, we're going to give you a little break, Diana, but don't go away because you're going to help us finish out the show. Um, so uh, we, we look forward to welcoming you back one more time. Uh, that was lovely. Uh, so we earlier heard from uh, Lisa Biedergar Lucas. Uh, now my pleasure to introduce her brother Frank, a very accomplished button accordion player. Uh, he is going to play two songs, uh, one by Johnny Pecan, uh, an early pioneer of American Slovenian polka music, the Cracker Jack polka, and Ace Kushnyave by Loisa Slock, uh, probably the most relevant uh, button accordion player in modern times, uh, bringing that instrument forward. Uh, so Juan, let's tee up uh, Frank, and uh, off we go to Colorado. <laughs> from Frank, if we could. Zoom and video are uh, always an interesting proposition. We'll give that just a moment. And uh, perhaps, uh, there we go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Terrific. Uh, and uh, what a tremendous player you are. You know, I'd like to bring back my good friend, Yoja Antolin. Um, Yoja is going to share uh, some of the goodies he baked. And uh, he is uh, not only a, a wonderful co-host and uh, singer guitar player, but a uh, wonderful baker, our uh, patizza expert. Tell us, Yoja. Well, there isn't a festival that Slovenians uh, celebrate where you likely won't find some variety of potica. And this is my little contribution for today. Uh, and uh, it's a pleasure to make it. I, it's, it, I find it a, a, a wonderful experience, even, even though it, it's, it's uh, uh, several hours of work. I enjoy it. And I just wanted to share this out with you. But the next time we're together, Zapriatelje, je treba čas uzet. For our friends, you have to take time. Thank you. Well, thank you, Joja. And I enjoy, especially when we rehearse, when we rehearse at your house, because uh, yes, you have very good vino, but you have that putiza. So <laughs> I'm going to Sunnyvale to your house. All right. And uh, you may see some random people pulling up in your driveway this afternoon before it's all over. You never <laughs> Wow, thank you, Yoja. And uh, it's my pleasure to, to play for you now. Um, I, I had a big birthday this year. And uh, late last year, I bought myself a new accordion. Uh, the name is similar, Rutar. My name is Hutar. Uh, so it's uh, a Slovenian product, uh, and I used, I tease the accordion maker, Alex Brutar, that he spells the name incorrectly, and he would tease me back that I spell the name incorrectly. Uh, but be that as it may, uh, I, I was, I'm fortunate to have received this instrument before COVID. And uh, what I'd like to play for you is a collection of Ausenik songs, uh, classic hits, uh, a little medley, Spumin uh, na mostu tamkemurke cveto Slovenia na robleku, and of course we have to finish off with Nagulici. There's a saying in Slovenia: "Ni veselica brez gulica." There can't be a party without the song Nagulici. <laughs> Thank you. 
some dancers out there. And now I'd like to uh, bring back David, who will uh, have some closing comments. David McCormick. Thank you, John. Great performance. Uh, I wish to thank all the performers who helped make this event a rousing success. And definitely a special thanks to all of you who attended. I hope you enjoyed spending this afternoon with us via Zoom. Let's hope we'll be back in the hall sometime soon next year. Now join me in welcoming back Diana for our closing song, Mise Mamo Radi. Diana. Hello, dear friends. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please join us in singing Mise Mamo Radi which means we love each other. Wrap your arms around someone that's close to you. I'm blessed to have my Ata, Yoja Fear, and namesake, Joseph Gromet, and we will sing together. Mi se mama radi, 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 radi. Mi se mama radi, 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 radi. Mi se mama radi, 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 radi. Mi se mama radi, radi prausares. Za kai se ne bi meri, radi, radi, radi. Za kai se ne bi meri, radi, radi, radi. Za kai se ne bi meri. Radi, 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 za kaj se ne bi meni, radi prav za res. Še se mama imeni, radi, radi, radi. 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 
Thank you so much for being with us today. And we'll see you next year. Thank you, everybody. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.